All right, today's May 23rd, 2018. A little bit of progress today on this car. Today I went to pick these up. It's just a template, shaved firewall. Got them from Last Minute Customs out of Houston, East Side. Um, it's pretty, pretty easy. I probably could have made these, but for the cost that I get them, it's uh, it's not even worth it. Just pay them, pay them, and pick it up. It's already cut out for brake booster, wiper motor, steering. All this is shaved here. So we're gonna delete all this old stuff here. You know, some people like to restore the original and all that jive, but man, for the cost, it's not worth it. The vintage, I'm told, gets a lot colder, and it's kind of a lot easier to hook up than dealing with all this, all this ugly stuff. So, just got to take the wiper motor off, master cylinder, steering column, and it bolts in here to the hood hinges, hold it in place. I'm gonna weld it on, so all that's got to come clean. Probably take a day or two. I don't know. I'm not in a rush. So in the last video, I was trying to remember what it is to uh, lift the uh, lift the body off the chassis with the drivetrain still in, intact. So made me a little list. Heater hoses, which I just cut because they're old. AC lines, cut those also. Wiring harness on the firewall. Two plugs. Old. Old. A lot of times when these Impalas won't start, people say go wiggle the uh, go wiggle the plug on the firewall. Well, that's fine. Probably fixes it, but it doesn't really fix it. Uh, emergency brake. Uh, steering shaft, of course. All I did was uh, loosen that. Uh, loosen the steering column under the under the uh, dash. And tap it forward till that fell out. Ground straps. I think this one had three. And one here. one here and then I had another one here but I forgot that and that ripped off that's okay uh, body bolts of course one two three four five six seven eight convertible is gonna have two more here uh, gas tank filler I dropped the gas tank too. Don't know if you have to do that, but it seemed easier. Just those two uh, two straps. Bust them loose. I cut the uh, I cut the hose on the filler because it was rotted anyways. Gas tank came right out. Single brake line to the master cylinder and the uh, shifting linkage. Where are we at? Also, the uh, what am I looking for? Gas pedal and lift it right up. Pretty easy. I'm going to be breaking all this down. It's getting all new bushings, ball joints, brake lines, gas lines, trailing arm bushings. I'm going to go through the rear end, and probably new U-joints, and see what we got after that. Put it back together, probably going to ditch the, ditch the exhaust, get something new. All this can be done relatively cheap, it's not that expensive. I mean, you're talking maybe powder coat the whole chassis. 
I don't know, five, six, seven hundred bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and do the wheel wells also. Look at these uh, fan shroud, hood hinges, you know, stuff like that. Throw that in there. Radiator support. So you're talking, you know, about a thousand dollars. All sandblast powder coat down here. It's pretty cheap considering uh, the end result and the difference in value versus trying to sit here with a wire wheel and clean all this up, then paint it and all that. I'd rather get it coated. So pretty excited about the uh, about the underside of this thing. I don't know if you can see it, but. Not much to show right now, but that's it. That's it for now. So first, first step is shaving this off, replacing it with these. I'll be doing a couple videos on that. Stay tuned.